Good evening. Welcome. Welcome to our midweek Bible study. It's been a few weeks since we've done this. Uh, when we do the live uh, Wednesday evening connection Bible study here at Berean, uh, then normally I don't go online with this. So uh, tonight we're back to being online and I'm glad you joined me. So I hope you're having a good week. The, the sun's shining some this week, even being a little chilly, but spring is here. So it's a good thing. And I don't know about you, but I love spring and spring is this sign of new life. And you, know, you get close to Easter and Easter is this whole idea of the life of Jesus Christ radiating through us and all things becoming new. So as believers in Jesus, I believe spring has a, a really good uh, sort of idea to it, a good ring to it that gets us energized and gets us excited. So I hope you could buy into that energy and be excited with me as we definitely get into spring weather. I want to read this evening out of Psalms 139. Uh, these couple verses here really intrigued me this week. Psalms 139, uh, the psalmist writes this. He, he says, For you created my inmost being, speaking of God, uh, understanding and creating us, understanding who we are and creating who we are. He says, You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. As I read this and I considered the fact that uh, I believe what, what David's trying to say in this, in this chapter in Psalms is that uh, God has this, this record or this understanding, this uh, all-knowing of what we are meant to be. The person we're created to be as we follow Christ, as we understand who God is, as we have this relationship with God. And when I read this, it, it really puts me into a deep uh, peace, uh, stability, strength, even, even security. Because I come to realize the fact that, as David said, even before I was fully formed, even as a baby in my mother's womb, God was, was shaping not, not just my body, but shaping who I would be, shaping the understanding the things that I would face and I wouldn't face and knowing that, uh, knowing the options that would be put before me. You know, I, I believe we could go really deep into this, but uh, I believe we know this. I, I hope you know this, that we can all choose. We're created as human beings, as people of free choice. So we can choose to do with whatever life hands us, right? Whatever we face, whatever comes to us, we can choose what to do with that. Some of those choices are much harder than others. Some of those choices are much painful than others. Some of those choices, it feels like we don't have a choice, but we still do. We can choose what we do with the things that life brings us, the journey we walk through. And in those choices, God knew, right? So God knows what we're gonna do, where we're gonna go, what we're gonna be. In those choices that we can make with this, concept of doing what God wants us to do. It comforts me in the fact of saying, God shaped me for this. God knows me. God formed me. Um, God understood what was coming down the road. God knows where my journey is going. And so I want to encourage you with that tonight. Whether you're in this great momentum of good things happening in your life, or whether you're at a point where you feel like a lot of things got twisted or uh, sort of diverse off of the path you thought was your life was like. Or, or maybe on the, the real negative side where you feel like you're in the middle of a journey of a lot of pain, a lot of hurt and suffering. Realize that God formed you knowing that this is a journey you're going to walk through. God created you. God made you who you are. God gave you the, the intellect, the IQ you have. God gave you the perception. God, it says you, your frame was not hidden from you. So even your, um, your, your body type, your, your strength or, or, or lack of all of this, God, God knew this about you and he knew the journey you would walk through. So realize, and, and I want to encourage you and ask you to find security and even peace in this idea that 
Everything you're walking through, the journey of life you're in, God knew this. I believe this with all my heart. I believe God foreknows everything that happens. Does it mean that everything that happens is what he would really want to happen? No, because we have free choice. Human beings can choose. And some of the choices we make, he doesn't approve of, right? This is why it's called evil. This is why it's called wrong choices. But even in those choices that maybe others make around us or maybe that we make, God knows this journey we're gonna walk through. So wherever in this journey you are, again, tonight, I wanna encourage you, as, as David wrote, David said, all the days ordained for me were written in your book. So God foreknew all of this journey. It's like he has this ledger, right? A ledger of, instead of things happening in the past, it's the ledger of the things that'll happen in the future. And when you were created, when he brought you together, when he created you in your mother's womb, when he brought you through life this far, all of that he brought together to make you, you. Because he knows what you're facing now. He knows what you walk through today. He knows what you're going to walk through tonight. He knows what you're gonna face the rest of the week. And God has brought all of the experiences, all of the strengths and weaknesses, all of the intellect, all of the, um, everything that's part of you. God has brought this all together in the person who you are, knowing that what you're gonna walk through requires all of that. Is that not a consoling or a secure thought to sort of settle in? Maybe it's something you're wrestling with, but I would encourage you to understand that, that by faith, that's what God does. He, he knows the journey, he created you, he formed you. Because when you can rest in that, I believe it brings a, a peace, a security that uh, is hard to find in anything else. So I would encourage you tonight, believe with me and understand with me that what David writes is, is true. God formed you for where you are. God shaped you, God made you, God brought you through life's journey to this point for the very reason that you're in right now. And out of that, find a, a peace, a contentment, a desire to make the best of the moment. All of that is poured into our mentality when we believe and accept this by faith. Let me pray with you tonight. God, I pray that everyone that's online with me, I pray that you would stir this within my heart to even a greater extent, that we would realize all the experiences we walk through, that I walk through, that each one listening to this has walked through, all of the things you've used to shape us, to shape our mentality, to shape our physical bodies, to shape our weaknesses and strengths, the weaknesses you've allowed, the strengths you've, you've stirred within us. You, you brought all of that together knowing the journey we're gonna walk. So God, tonight, I pray that each one with me online would rest into this peace, this security, knowing that you have a master plan. And when we allow ourselves to rest in you, God, you wanna use us in this journey in a special way. So God, tonight we rest in that. I rest in that. I pray that you would help us to rest in that. Give us faith to know that you lead through turmoil, through good times and through bad times, knowing the future, understanding what really is best for us if we claim that in your grace. God, I pray you'd help each one as they go to bed tonight. Help them sleep well, to rest well. We wanna rest in you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you for making peace available for making this relationship with God available. And if there's anyone that's listening, anyone that's with me tonight that doesn't know that peace, doesn't have that security, Jesus, give them the, the, the strength to reach out, the strength to connect with somebody that uh, can bring them to this point of understanding. I pray your blessing on us in Jesus' name, amen. I wanna encourage you, if, if this kind of peace, security, stability is foreign to you, if it's something you, you really can't grasp, reach out to myself or to somebody that can sort of help you walk through latching onto this faith. Because there is a security that Jesus Christ brings, that faith in God, faith in knowing that God formed you brings, that you and I were meant to enjoy. We were meant to enjoy that security. So reach out. May God bless you tonight. I hope you have a good night. I hope you have a good rest of the week. And don't forget to join us on Sunday. 
I really want you to come here to Berean Community Church or join us online. Uh, we're going to continue this series of A Tale of Scars as we walk through the life of David and analyze that life of how that looks in us. As we walk through going from innocence to where we carry scars, the scars of life, scars of pain, scars of suffering, and how God allows us to walk through that and yet holds us and carries us even with the scars. May God bless you tonight. Have a good night.